Welcome back, everybody, to the KC Sports Report. I'm your host, Michael Darcy. And today I'm going to break down one wide receiver that seems like an unlikely trade target, but one specific analyst is calling for the Chiefs to go out and make that trade. So let's talk about it. But first and foremost, I want to give a massive shout out to my baseball team, the Kansas City Royals, for getting their first postseason win in over nine years. Yeah, the Royals just defeated the Baltimore Orioles in Baltimore by the final score of one to nothing. Bobby Wood Jr. drove in Michael Garcia, and that was the only run the Royals needed after getting incredible pitching performances from uh, Cole Reagans, who absolutely shoved, and Lucas Ursag recorded the save. And the Baltimore Orioles in the last nine postseason games are 0 and 9, and the Royals are five of those losses. And so we always talk about the Chiefs beating Baltimore and how you know the Chiefs always have the Ravens number. It seems like Kansas City sports teams in general have Baltimore's number. So it is a great time to be a Kansas City sports fan. The Royals are trying to sweep the, the Orioles and get out of the wild card round. So I'd highly suggest watching that if you are a fan of the Kansas City Royals. I was on you know, the edge of my seat every single pitch, every single at bat, and so I would highly suggest tuning into that. But enough Royals talk. Let's talk about the Kansas City Chiefs. That's why you guys are here. There's one specific trade target that seems incredibly unlikely, and I'm just going to preface this video by saying that I don't think it's going to happen, but one analyst in particular is calling for the Chiefs to make this trade, and so I thought that I would have to talk about it because, man, the possibility that Devontae Adams joins this team, it could be unfair for the rest of the NFL. And so that is the player. Uh, RG3 is the analyst that says the Chiefs need to go out and make a trade for Devontae Adams. Here's the one sticking point. The only issue that is the big hookup is that Devontae Adams is in a division. He's with the Raiders. The Raiders aren't very good. You know, they're probably going to miss out on the playoffs. And Antonio Pierce. Seems like, you know, he wants to get Devontae Adams out of, uh, of Las Vegas. But the biggest problem is, would the Raiders make a trade with the Chiefs to give them a talent like Devontae Adams? And to be honest with you, no, I, I can't see the, the, the Raiders making this move. But one can dream. I mean, the thought of Devontae Adams in a Chiefs uniform producing for this team I think the wide receiver issue gets cleared up overnight. But again, I don't think this is going to happen. RG3 seems to think that this is a legit possibility. Listen, the Chiefs already have enough issues with other teams in the AFC not wanting to trade with the Chiefs to make them better. Like Buffalo or Cincinnati or even Houston, those teams are not going to trade with the Chiefs because they are direct you know, rivals. But at the same time, the, the hatred between the Chiefs and the Raiders goes back, you know, decades. And so I can't see Antonio Pierce and, and Tom Telesco pulling off that kind of trade that would ship off the Raiders' best talent to and put him in a Chiefs uniform. That just does not seem likely. Now, I will say, Devontae Adams is not going to go for that much. I, I think what I've seen, the package that uh, makes the most sense is like a second-round draft pick and maybe a, a fourth or a fifth. I think his market is down. He's you know in his 30s. He's got some injury problems. And the biggest issue is Devontae Adams is a diva. Like He is somebody that when he's on the field, it's great. But you better be damn sure that he's going to be in the ear of the offensive coordinator or even Patrick Mahomes telling him to you know get those targets up, get my catches up. It's, it's very much so uh, like he's a me, me, me guy. And he is not for the betterment of the team. And so, you know, football aside, I think that that is the kind of person that I don't want in, in this locker room. The Chiefs have a great culture where it's very selfless. It doesn't, you know, revolve around one player. It revolves around, you know, the team. And so trading for Devontae Adams would mess with that chemistry. And, and that's obviously taking the whole, you know, division rivals aspect out of it. How likely are the Raiders to make this move if they're you know, not division rivals? They probably would if the Chiefs offered them enough. But the fact that they are in the same division, the Raiders hate the Chiefs. I think the Raiders would rather spit in our face than give us Devontae Adams and have a chance to win a Super Bowl with him. Like I really just don't think there is any merit to what RG3 was saying. 
listen, I have I've watched the Raiders, you know, make moves in the past that I was like, I cannot believe that they made those. But I don't think that trading their best wide receiver talent to a team that has kicked their ass for the last five to ten years, I don't think that makes sense. I don't think that they would do that. Uh, you know, we could hope, we could dream. Uh, I think it would take uh, quite the overpay to get Devontae Adams. I mean, I'm talking like a first round pick, maybe two first round picks before they even consider it. Listen, if you're a Raiders fan and 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 the uh, Chiefs throw out two first round draft picks for Devontae Adams, who's in his 30s, he's got injury problems, and he's a diva. If they got two first round picks offered to them, I'm pretty sure they would take it. But the Chiefs have already shown with shipping off Tyree Kill that it doesn't make sense to trade for a wide receiver or pay a wide receiver when you know you've been able to make it work without that superstar. Now the circumstances are a bit different now because you don't have Rasheed Rice, you don't have Hollywood Brown, and so I still think the Chiefs need to be in the market for trading a for a wide receiver. But Devonte Adams is highly unrealistic. That's not going to happen, and I think that any. Any Chiefs fan that thinks that Devontae Adams has a possibility of coming here is probably not mentally okay. I think that there is no shot the Raiders make this move. And so the Chiefs have to go look at trading for somebody else. Somebody that just kind of caught my attention, DJ Moore of the Chicago Bears. They drafted Roma Dunze. They got Keenan Allen. DJ Moore is kind of the odd man out. And so it might make a lot of sense for the Chiefs to trade with Chicago, give them some draft capital, give us more. And I think that's a really good fit for both sides. But, you know, another guy we've talked about for a long time, DeAndre Hopkins, who I've, you know, said, I've said DeAndre Hopkins when I've met Devontae Adams. Uh, so those two kind of get interchanged in my mind. But DeAndre Hopkins is still a wide receiver that does have a lot of talent and could produce in this offense. And so I think the other options are there. But Devontae Adams just does not make financial sense. It doesn't make it doesn't make any sense for the Raiders to pull off that move. And so I think that the Chiefs are going to have to go out and trade for somebody else. That's kind of the impression that I've been under the entire time. And so I guess I wanted to make this video just to say that RG3 is stupid. There's no chance that you know this move ends up happening. Uh, I think the Chiefs would be you know open to trading for uh, Devontae Adams, but the Raiders are not going to budge. You know, even though they suck, even though they're not going to make the playoffs, they're not going to make this trade. You could offer them a first round pick and a third round pick. They'd probably say no. And so I think the Chiefs have to understand that there will be a team out there that will give you a good wide receiver. You know, whether it is DJ Moore from the Bears, whether it is Amari Cooper from the Cleveland Browns, there are those options out there. The only thing is that Brett Veach is going to have to go out there and find those guys. They're there, but it's not going to be an interdivision, you know, trade with uh, the Chiefs acquiring, you know, Devontae Adams. That just does not make any sense to me. I would love to hear what you guys have to say down in the comments below. Do you think that makes sense? Do you think that, you know, this could happen in some scenario if the Chiefs offer up a punt, uh, a, b a bunch of, you know, draft capital? I, I don't think this is likely. I don't think this is happening, point blank. But uh, really quickly, I wanted to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, and that is the Hollywood Casino at Kansas Speedway. Kansas City's new home for sports is at ESPN Bet at Hollywood Casino at Kansas Speedway. Watch and win your share of $5,000 pen cash on Sunday, October 27th, when the Kansas City Chiefs take on the Las Vegas Raiders. I'll actually be out there on that Sunday doing a, a live stream during the game. So come out, say hello to me, but also enter for your chance to win some pen cash. The link to that is in the description of this video. And so I highly encourage you to come out to the Speedway, say what's up to me, watch the Chiefs game. It's a great atmosphere out there. I've you know done work out there in the past. And again, I want to give a giant shout out to the Hollywood Casino for sponsoring this video. Again, there's no better spot to place all of your sports bets. You must be 21. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. So again, to wrap this thing all up, I cannot see the Chiefs pulling off this trade for Devontae Adams. Doesn't make sense. I think RG3 was, uh, you know, missed the mark a little bit. Maybe he was just trying to rage bait on Twitter or he was just trying to throw something out there to get engagement. But uh, I can't see the, the Raiders parting with 
Devontae Adams to a, a team in the division. And so I would love to hear what you guys have to say down in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think there's any merit to this? Do you think that, you know, Devontae Adams would make this team better? I would love to hear what you guys have to say because even the thought of Devontae Adams in a Chiefs uniform, it's pretty exciting. I, I will give you that. It is a very exciting proposition, but one that I just do not think has any chance of actually happening. So that's all I have for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, like this video. We are 20 subscribers away from 7,000. And so if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like this video, share this content with your friends so we can hit that number and continue growing through the Chiefs season. And go follow me on social media, Instagram and TikTok, KC underscore sports report, Twitter at KC sports report. Once again, a giant shout out to the Hollywood Casino at Kansas Speedway for sponsoring this video. Go check out the watch party against the Raiders on 1027. I'll be there. And until next time, guys, thank you for watching this video and go Chiefs.